I'll just say a little bit about the 64-bit stuff because we won't get a chance today, I'm certain. What I'd like to say is that people have seen on our DVD the 12D 64-bit and there's 32-bit. If you've got a 64-bit computer, that does not necessarily mean you're running 64-bit programs. Uh, most people are probably still running only 32-bit Opera Windows on it. But most computers these days are 64-bit. A lot more now they are being, have 64-bit uh, XP or Vista or now Windows 7 on them. On that 64-bit computer, if you want to run your 12D, you just, and you've uh, got your 5 million point version, you just run that 32-bit version. You don't do anything else, because the 64-bit, even under the 64-bit operating system, will run all your 32-bit applications. So if you've got a 64-bit computer running a 64-bit OS, because most of them still just run 32-bit Windows, you can run your just normal 12D on it. If you want to run the 250 million point version, which we call Bigfoot, um, that needs the 64-bit executable, which then will run only on that 64-bit operating system with 64-bit yeah, with uh, Windows Vista or uh, Windows 7. So if you have got 64-bit, you can just run your normal 32-bit. If you go over to Bigfoot, you can use the same dongle, it's just you'll need because it's an uh, extra module on top of the normal 5 million point version. So the people had a bit of confusion about that. The 64 bits, uh, we will talk a little bit more, give you some timings, because most people think 64 bit will go much faster. It doesn't. The maths code processes and things, they're already 64 bit. What you can do with a 64 bit computer is it can take more memory. A 32-bit computer can only address about 4 gigabytes of memory, so even if you put 12 gigabytes in your computer, it's not going to be helpful. But in a 64-bit computer running a 64-bit operating system, if you've got 64 gigabytes of memory, which the computer just here, there's one here with 64 gig of memory, it can use all of it. So that means your job can fit a lot of just straight memory, so it'll run much faster. That is where you get your speed from on a 64-bit computer. Nothing to do with processing power, it's not very much faster, it's just that you get more into memory so it doesn't have to swap between the disks. And I think Alan's been doing some timing trials on this one with about 700 million triangles just to get a bit of an idea of what the speeds are like. So we'll talk a bit about that more later. But don't think a 64-bit computer is going to go much faster unless you have lots of memory. So don't get a 64-bit computer with 64-bit operating system and only 4 gigabytes of memory. Don't bother wasting your money. Have at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Then things will, will run faster. So, yeah. Uh, yes, if you are running a 64-bit operating system, you'll just have to get the 64-bit dongle drivers which are on our website. Whether you're running 32 or 64-bit. Yeah, thanks for that. I forgot about that one. So you just need different dongle drivers, but then both versions will run. If you have the 64-bit version B4, we also give you the 32-bit, so you can run either. In case something goes wrong and some of the other things won't run under 64-bit, other applications, you have to go back to 32-bit.